All right, guys, I've noticed some deals on some batteries. I don't really care for the label on this one, but guys love this battery. They love it. They absolutely love this Ridodo battery. I think they're all kind of made by the same place. They all have the same type of strap on them. But this is usually $249. And it's definitely a good deal. I don't know, I don't order when it's shipped by the company. So I don't know how long that takes or any of that. Um, but when it comes to this kind of stuff, you kind of be have to be willing to take at least a little bit of a risk. Um, these things usually, you know, uh, companies might offer a warranty and then they won't honor it. It's kind of the part of doing business with China. So, or you pay more money to a middleman who might not help you either. Um, these batteries all have this kind of little strap right here where it slides in at an angle and they're all very similar uh, I think this one has the low voltage or low voltage the low temperature cutoff which is important for these type of batteries um, if you're going to have them somewhere where it's going to freeze overcharge protection, over discharge, over current, short circuit, high temperature cutoff. I don't think this one has low temp cutoff. Um, you don't have to have it. I mean, it's not like, you know, I don't think you should have your batteries out in an area where it's going to freeze anyways. Um, but that is a really good deal on that battery. Um, There are many copies of these batteries, so if we look here, we see this one here. It's just got a different sticker on it. The case is black. If we come over here, if it will allow me to do this, this laptop is just absolutely terribly slow. It's, I, I thought it was the internet for a long time. So you see here, it comes over to the side, slides in. They're really just all the same batteries, but who knows what kind of cells are inside of them. So some company is making all these different cases, at least that much, I would assume. Um, everybody likes these eco-worthy batteries, and they seem to have like uh, decent customer support, I guess. I don't know. Um, here's a Chins battery. I have um, one of the other particular ones. Um, 280 amp hour is like... 140 times 2 basically their regular 100 amp hour batteries are like $212 so this is a pretty good deal you're getting another 40 amp hours per 200 something dollars that's also a lightning deal interesting so all of a sudden we're seeing these lightning deals um it might be sold by Amazon. Nope. So Amazon does sell some of these. Um, if I can go into here and look at this one, it probably is. Okay. Um, $249. So this is why I was saying that was a good deal. Because... So this one is sold by Amazon and shipped by Amazon, but it's the Chins 100 amp hour. I have two of these. I bought them when they were on sale. They're not on sale right now. So normally you're going to pay $249 for one of these batteries. So if you bought that big battery, that's a 280 amp hour battery. That's like more than two of these. It's almost like two and a half of these. And if you bought two of these, it would be 500 bucks. So I, I think that's a great deal. This is an okay deal if you want to order from Amazon and you want it shipped from Amazon. It will come really fast to your door. Mine came in like two days. They were sent FedEx though. Uh, so basically they went from the Amazon hub to FedEx directly to my door and um, really fast shipping. I was very impressed. I have not had any problems with them. I've been using them for at least since I bought the EG4 inverter, um, actually longer than that.
Uh, so, uh, I think I bought them back in July. And I have them, two of them in series with another 24 volt battery in series. So yes, this is a good deal on this one. Um, I also have these batteries. They are uh, up in price again, I see. Um, these are probably sold and shipped by Amazon. Yep. So, there's a little peace of mind of doing that, you know? And so that's why I bought mine from them. And you can see here it has the little notch. And they're all pretty much manufactured the same. There are two sizes to these. Um, these are supposed to be better than the chins. They, they claim to be using grade A cells. I'm not sure if I believe them or not. Um, and I haven't had any problems with those and I've been using those since August. Um, there are, I have two of them on a 24 volt system. Um, they do go on sale. They might even be on sale because I'm not logged into Prime right now. They might actually be on sale. But for the sake of the video, we're just you know, showing you. These do have the low temperature cutoff. This would make good portable battery if you can find one for a good price. Um, let's see here. So, some other really weird kind of jump start looking batteries. So they have these mini ones. And you almost guaranteed those are going to have pouch cells in them. So it'd be my advice to just kind of avoid those. They really probably don't want pouch cells. Here is a two pack for three thirty nine, which would put them at like about one seventy nine, one sixty nine, one fifty nine. That's probably a pretty good deal too. I mean, really, kind of all these things are probably going to be pretty similar. People love this, I call it the DJ Jabber. <laughs> D-J-B-E-R-M-P-W. Um, $160, so you know, you'd be 340 or excuse me, 320 for two plus tax. You are going to pay the tax. So similar price on those people like those the power clean batteries people like those um, I seen videos where people took these apart the light time batteries are highly regarded I have a light time amper time battery the old older ones said amper time on them and they changed their name to light time there's some more of these mini batteries that I would stay away from This is a normal lifetime battery, which I don't think I've ever seen one for this cheap. Um, let's see, it looks a little strange in size. So, basically most people say the cells in these, this is the group 31. Um, yeah, they say the cells in these are good. I think that the lifetime batteries are probably made better than most of the other competitors. I'm trying to look at this again and see if that strap appears to be the same. Let's see here. It does look like it is. I don't know if they're showing a very good picture. Also, a lot of times they just use pictures pulled off the internet. So you have no idea. Um, um, but they claim that they they actually claim they give you a warranty. Um, I think they offer uh, a ten year warranty. I'm not sure though. But anyway, I bought one from somebody else that bought it and never used it. So. I probably wouldn't 
be able to use the warranty even if I had to. So really that's probably about it on here as far as deals. Um, I would probably suggest this one here if you don't mind. Um, and the other one would be probably the Chins battery. That's definitely... And so what I understand is there are cheaper batteries used pouch cells and they're more expensive larger batteries use uh, prismatic cells so this is a really really good price on this 280 amp hours if you had a 24 volt system and you put two of these ah, wow man you would you would have a really nice battery bank because so two of these in series for a 24 volt battery is basically 2.4 something kilowatt all by itself and um, this is going to be way 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 more um, are they mar mar marking it as three five eight four so I don't know why it says that watt hour on it, but uh, anyway, yeah, this would make a really nice uh, 24 volt battery bank. I don't think I'd really want to do 48 volts on this because you'd have to buy four of them. Um, yeah, and so that would be way too much money, but this is a high capacity. So normally, what people would do is they would go and buy four of these instead. And it's then it's a balancing act. It's kind of a pain. I don't think I would do it that way anymore. But I guess as long as you get all your balances, you know, set first, you equalize all the batteries and everything, and put them all in parallel and them sit for 24 hours and they usually should be good but the problem with multiple batteries and multiple BMS's is that one of them could have an issue and cause the whole string to go down so anyway it depends on what you want to do but if you're 12 volts or 24 volts usually you can probably get away with two batteries or whatever but 48 volts starts getting a little more complicated and you know I don't really think individual 12 volt batteries is the way to go. <coughs> um, in fact, I don't even think two 24 volt batteries is the way to go. Let's take a look here real quick. 24 volt. And a lot of times though, unfortunately, it's cheaper to buy the 12 volt battery. And here's a, a lifetime 24 volt battery. This is essentially the battery I have, and that is actually a really good price. Because last time I looked, they were more than even that other price. Um, these are not going to have low temperature cutoff, but let's see here. This is another one that people like. I don't know that brand is kind of a weird one. There's also an eco-worthy battery that has a metal lid on it. So this is a lifetime battery with Bluetooth, low temp protection. This is the one I would buy. I wouldn't even waste my time with the other one um, because it's thirty dollars difference. So with the Bluetooth, you can get an app and monitor the individual cells of each battery. You can tell everything that's going on. Uh, so that's really, really cool. Um, the difference is literally $30. So, yeah. Now, if you were to buy, like, two of these, it'd be um, probably $1,000 with a tax. But... Two of these for a 48 volt system would be cool. Um, 
Um, eventually, I think that's what I want to do is get another one of these or just two of them or something. But the age of the batteries being further apart is also sometimes an issue. So my battery that I'm using, I don't know how old it is. I started using it about a year ago, maybe a little longer. And then the other batteries are only a couple months old. I see this DC house battery. I don't know anything about this, but um, I've seen people say they're okay. So prices range all over the place. See the Redoto is usually kind of expensive. Okay, so we got to go 48 volt. Let's see if we get on 48 volt. We have a Chin's 48 volt battery, 9.99. We have uh, double stacked DC house batteries in a metal container. I think that's probably good because see, here's the thing with those. You can open it up, you can take a look inside. This is a smoking deal, but do you want to deal with four batteries? Man, that's like less than $100 a battery almost, isn't it? Uh, 120 I don't know. No, more than that, let's see, 150 Anyway, I'm not good with math. It's cheap. Yeah, because it's four batteries. If it was less than 100, it would be $400 or less. Uh, let's see, what is this one? I've never heard of that. Some of these are sold for golf carts too. You have 50 amp hour ones at 48 volts. I really don't think I would want to go that low. Um, and you're still going to spend a thousand bucks. Here's a light time in a server rack. Here's a chins set up for a golf cart. The DC house one. $80 coupon. These are all for golf carts. Here's this one. It's even got a little strap to strap it down. <laughs> There's another Chins. This one has a $110 coupon. The form factor is starting to look a little strange in some of these. That one's tiny. At, at this size of battery, they're going to be really heavy. Um, because each 100 amp hour 12 volt battery is about 25 pounds. So you'd be probably 100 pounds. Here's what I'm guessing. Let's see if we can click on one of these and see if it tells us the weight of the battery. I, I don't think it will. Then you have the uh, wannabe power wall batteries. Uh, let's see. The um, this one here, people like. I'm curious if this will say the weight. Hundred and two pounds. Yeah. So that's what I was trying to tell you guys. So now these ones are cool because they have a display on them. So. These might work with an EG4 as far as like BMS communication. Um, I actually don't see a connector on the front, so I don't think it does. Um, anyway, you start getting into the 100 amp hour 48 volt and you're, you're spending money.